Hi everyone, welcome back. Welcome to my YouTube channel and this is Uber Eats clone playlist. And here we are doing integration of uh, dashboard app with our Nest JS APIs which are there already created. So we have a Next JS, Next JS APIs, Next auth is sit, Next auth middleware is sitting in between that and then there is a proxy gateway and then we have a Nest JS APIs, right? So UI components in the Next JS SSR will send a request uh, and then it will go to the next JS APIs which is already created like a restaurant get put post we, we are going to create and then this uh, is going to hit the proxy gateway because we have six or seven services we don't want to we can forget the port on uh, which service is running so we just created a proxy wrapper that is going to take you to that particular service based on the path you are putting okay so first because those apis are protected and created in the nest gs they require a bearer authorization header and how we are going to get the authorization header that we are going to get from the next auth session next auth session contains the user object that contains the access token because the next JS ui has a session created by the next auth and next auth contains this access token in its uh, storage. So whenever I need to talk to the external API from the next JS APIs, external APIs are nothing but my next JS APIs like restaurant, user, order. I need to be, I, I need to pass this authorization header in the payload. I mean, in, inside a header, I need to pass this better token as an authorization so that, uh, that those APIs can respond well. So, and this is the port binding 3007, our uh, ne next APIs are running 3003, our restaurant APIs are running 3001 where the proxy is running, right? So I will just add the, the port mappings here and here we are going to make API call to the restaurant service through the proxy gateway. So here we are going to use simple axios dot get, there will be a URL and inside the config we are going to pass the headers headers contains the authorization so this authorization contains a property bearer and the token so token we are going to get from the session because this is a server side api this is server side next js apis and we can get the session object using get server side session by passing auth options authentication options and you can see here in the next auth, we are setting this access token inside a user object. So same we are going to do session.user.accessToken. So here this is a get server side session and then from session get the access token and then send the access token to the nest JS APIs because this token is the same token which we have received from the authentication API, auth API. What we did is from the next auth credential provider, we uh, pass the username password and we got the access token and we put the access token in the next auth session object now i am again going back to the same set of uh, nest services so i need to pass this authorization bearer token so session dot user dot access token and then if everything is good i will just send a response back otherwise i will just put a debugger like okay error just to debug okay send me anything if you are not sending me the data so this is session dot user dot access token. I can just set any here. And this is the URL. Now what is the URL? If you see 3001 is the proxy gateway. And if you see my proxy gateway, uh, you can see the mapping here. 3001 is actually mapped. 3001 uh, restaurant service will map to the 3003 API V1. Right, the restaurant endpoint. So just a uh, placeholder we have created and now uh, we will just try to hit the service we are going to hit the 3007 next is api routes restaurant service health and you can see here this is the proxy gateway right what what i'm hitting is 3001 api v1 restaurant service and health this is a proxy gateway endpoint which is internally calling the restaurant service and giving us the status okay the and the restaurant it is unauthorized because we are not passing the bearer token that is expected so now but from here we are passing the bearer token 
so this is our next gcp routes and we can uh, try this so first of all uh, we also need to have a proper role so what i'm going to do is i'm going to update the role for both the users to the restaurant admin so that you can access the restaurant services like create restaurant update restaurant delete restaurant fetch the list of all the restaurant which you own all these you can access only if you are a restaurant admin so i need to update the role and i need to do the login again so that my token will contain that updated role information so here if you see uh, i will just try to access this api this is an access api endpoint i will do the login again this is my API. this is my username and this is my password i will just do the login and when you do the login uh, we should be able to get the session id now the interesting point here is you send a request to the next js uh, next auth right next auth will give you the session information in the cookies and this session information or this token which you see on the cookies cannot be used for the nest js apis because nest js api token is limited to the next auth and whatever the next auth is returning to us inside a cookies is not the authorization bearer token which our nest js external api, external api needs so always remember that this is just an internal session token if i put this i won't be able to get anything out of it it's just like a simple payload but if you see on the current screen uh you can see the email subscriber id and access token this access token is something which is there on the session object of next auth and this is the token which we need to forward to the nest js api routes okay so here i mean i'm just trying if i can play with this token but nothing so if it's an invalid signature we cannot just decode it and we don't need to because this is not the token we need this is nothing but a cookies but yes to tell the next auth i'm authenticated you need to send this in the cookies every time for each and every request okay so now what we are going to do is i will just try to copy this thing if i can and this is this is how it looks like so i will just give it a try if i can extract something otherwise we will move further this is the invalid signature because uh, i can see dot 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 either it is not copied fully or we will just uh, we don't work on that this is nothing but a session we will check this token which is there in the next auth session object and uh, we will go because this is what is being passed to this particular endpoint and here you can see there is a permission is there restaurant admin email user id is there so this is what we have and i will just hit api restaurant and do i receive anything it's an empty response we will see what we are getting so i will try to do some console statements to check am i getting anything from the api console.log data because i think the api is returning with the 200 status code and this is the empty record because there are no restaurant available so it is just giving me we got data successfully here that means the integration is successful from the from the next js api routes to the proxy to the restaurant service we are able to pass this authorization header and we got the data now just okay we need to create some restaurant so that we start getting the data now this is how you will write the api endpoints now if you go to this id here also you can copy paste stuff and here we are going to use the same thing because these are the api routes so here you can define the get, put, post, delete, patch, all these methods. So here what we are doing is we need to use this slug. Or we need to get this ID which you are passing as a parameter. So I will just try to get that thing again. This is the get request when you wanted to get the restaurant by ID. And here your endpoint will be different. Slug param dot ID. Okay and this slug you can pass here this is another api nothing but okay give me the restaurant by id and this api you can hit for put delete get so there can be different uh, endpoints you can have like okay i mean endpoint is same but the methods can be different right http get put post delete on this get by id 
and on the restaurant you can have a two endpoints create restaurant and give me the list of all the restaurants together so here you can do the put in the same file that's good right uh, you can have all these define all these methods so this api endpoint can handle get put delete uh, api http request coming from the ui components so this is the delete so we'll call xios.delete here we, are, we will call xios.put and there will be some payload also we are going to receive that we are going to pass here so similarly in the the restaurant uh, route.ts we have a get and the post post means create the restaurant so here you need to pass the payload the whole uh, object which you are going to get from the next js ui component forms and in that form we are going to use a react hook form we will submit the data we get a json object that json object you can trigger pass it here and you can see here here on the get request now i'm getting the data i'm also stringifying the response data so that i can see that on the browser and here i'm able to call this api because i'm this browser is sending the cookies otherwise it's not a public endpoint you can see all these cookies being passed this is api restaurant and all these cookies so without these cookies you cannot access this because next auth will prevent you because you are not passing it and the same thing we can uh, same thing we can play with the another rest client insomnia and here i will just update the cookies okay i will just save my cookies to this path and to done done and then i will send a request without these cookies you are not logged in you cannot access this endpoint and here we are just also creating the restaurant by passing the dummy payload that i think we are doing here you can see i mean actually we will be getting this data from the front end from request.body here i just try to uh, put the hard coded json object and here you can see this is the get this is the post so it is get there are three restaurant and in the post we are creating there's three restaurant and there is a get call which is giving you the data and here you can see i got the three restaurant because i am passing the same set of cookies in the headers so this is how this end-to-end -end communication is happening okay so if you see the flow like how all the things all these things are connected uh, we are passing username password from the front end this is the first call we are sending from the the login screen of nexus page and then uh, we are sending this to the proxy gateway the same request through the next auth and then uh, this proxy gateway is talking to the user service right and then user service is giving you the access token which you have inside a next auth so we can just put another block here so that is the next auth right uh, next auth contains the session object and next auth is returning some cookies to the the ui uh, request so that the same cookies can be forwarded to and we would be knowing that session exists and now i wanted to get all the restaurants so what i will do is uh, if i'm logged in i will just hit api v1 cookies api v1 sorry restaurant and that restaurant api endpoint will also send the cookies which has been established using next auth using that cookies the next auth will understand okay this uh, is a logged in user session is initialized and then uh, from the session because it is going to hit the next js api endpoints and there is a post call or get call you already have the token inside a session access token inside a session that access token you will forward to the gateway and gateway will forward uh, this request to the restaurant service right there is a auth token we are passing and there is already a proxy gateway which will forward it to the restaurant service so we have three different things here one is a next js ssr pages then there is a next js apis and then uh next js actual services so whatever the session is initialized by the next auth between the next js client side pages or the next js apis is totally different from what uh, is totally different from the authorization header we are sending to the nest gs apis okay whatever you are setting between next auth and the browser is totally next auth related okay 
that is just a session deco encoding and just setting the token for you okay now another important aspect for this is how we are calling and how we are passing these cookies and we can see these cookies are available here this is what next auth is returning as a cookies that is nothing but a session information and here now we are getting a status 200 right and this is this set of cookies are being passed in the request okay so we are fetching the list of restaurant we are doing a create restaurant with the dummy json object so now uh, in the next video let's extend it and we will do the integration by calling this fetch restaurant or fetch restaurant by id or create restaurant from the ui components that can be a client side or server side page let's see so now let's do the the integration with this couple of components so first we will understand uh, how we can do integrate with the client side components this is the the use client we are using on the top that means this particular page is a client side page and this is a inside a restaurant we have page.tsx so when you hit a restaurant it is going to render and here we are just initializing the restaurant state and then there is a fast fetch restaurant that is a sync here inside this we are just going to make a api call const response await, re, await fetch and we already have the api endpoint forward slash api restaurant that will give me the list of the restaurant and here i can do await response.json uh, deserialize it and then this is going to give me the data so set restaurant so there is a set restaurant we can just do the data so it has uh, updated, updated our state and we can use use effect so that it, it will run only once and here we can call fetch restaurant okay so this is a simple one right what we are doing is this is the client side page here because we are doing a huge state use effect all sort of stuff because this is a client side page and we are just using this use effect and you can see uh, i mean we are not using any lifecycle methods of uh, next js client side page own mount or something here page already appeared and now the data will appear right so it's kind of a little slow page already appeared and then the data is coming because the page is already rendered and then we are making api call and just uh, updating it otherwise what we can do is we can have a loading state but that is only happens with the server side pages before you fetch the data and return it to the client you can have this loading state when I mean, you just need to have a loading.tsx that will play the thing if there is a synchronous call this will show the loading and once you have a data that data will be gone so the another important part is can i convert this into the server side component think about it because i might be making a mistake here because this is a server side page and going to access the server side url server side api route let's see if i can do something like that i will try to fix these uh, small issues and then i will try to check this particular page and when i hit api restaurant okay fetch restaurant await is not allowed so we need to make this function async this component async and then i save it and then i reload it okay uh, i think we are using await isn't allowed in the sync function use session we don't need use session because this is not how we get the session in the server side page we, we use get server side session there this is a server side component and we are trying to hit api restaurant so let's see if i reload this and try to access this so still okay unable to fill to parse error now if you try to understand what is happening is we have a server side page server side component and it is trying to access a server side api routes that's uh, not a real combination we can access the server side api routes from the ui component i mean uh, the client side component not a server side server side you already have a server side component already have a direct access to the data source which you have or you can actually call an external endpoint or provide the full url with the http and all i mean you can still do it but that's not advised 
so i will ju i just rolled it back to the client side component so this is client side this is server side component now let's try to understand the difference server side component you can directly access and then server side component directly i have access to the prisma data source and all those things client side uips you need to if you want to fetch the data then you need to make an api call and access the data so here let's say there are a server side api routes are created so from a client side we can uh, make xgos call and access these server side api routes and those server side api routes can further access the prisma or the data source so we are skipping one this particular step if we are writing a purely the server side pages you can directly call them and uh, do all these things so this is the major difference and that's why we will just go with the uh, in this particular component client side pages accessing the server side api okay so that's uh, pretty much what i was planning to talk about uh, in terms of integration now once you have a basic integration you can do any kind of integration to communicate to the apis now we will talk about the file upload how we are doing it from this and accessing the the file service through the proxy gateway